What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another opening. Today, we made another trip to Walmart to grab some maternity code. I know it hasn't been too kind to us recently, but whenever I see them, I have to buy them out. I always think, oh, is there a starlight in there? As well as four awesome Zexel blister packs, Generations Force, Return of the Duelist, Abyss Rising, and Judgment of the Light. Before we get started, if we have an opening, of course, we have a giveaway. And all you have to do to enter is leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Where in the world are you watching this from? Throughout my years, I've noticed the Yu-Gi-Oh! community extends far and wide. And yeah, that interests me. So let me know, where are you watching this from? Now, without further ado, I'm going to crack these babies out of this blister because after doing that massive 42-minute video with Calvin in store, took up quite a lot of space on my phone as well as claimed a casualty. If you've noticed, our light here looks a little bit bluer, and this is actually just a template here. It actually looks very Walmart-y, very fitting, but RIP to Yugi Mo's lamp. Last time we brought it to Calvin's, it was already on its last legs, but it didn't make it. It actually didn't even make it to the opening. We plugged it in, didn't work, so RIP. We got another one in the mail, should be here tomorrow, so no worries. Should only have to deal with the shoddy light for one opening, maybe a mail day as well. But condolences aside, F's in the chat. We're gonna now crack these babies open. And we're back. Okay, apologies again. The light looks a little wonky. Actually fell over, had to reset it. I'd be, I was gonna take a video of it, but it's actually leaned up against my phone right now. That 60 pack opening with Calvin was pretty rough. But anyways, onto some Eternity Code. Make sure you check it out because that was quite, quite some fun to uh, edit. 60 pack opening with Justin Yu-Gi-Oh and my boy Calvin. And to start us off with the Rose Girl. Actually just started watching Yu-Gi-Oh Vrains. And there are three reasons we're gonna pull a Starlight Rare and a Ghost Rare in the same video. One, I haven't thought that far ahead or planned a script so oh there we go heavy forward i'm not sure what that's worth I actually like the concept of playmaker it's pretty cool unlike uh the protagonist of Yu-Gi-Oh! zexo over here it's kind of a dweeb yeah playmaker kind of reminds me of yusei also with speed duels i guess they kind of there's a little equivalent there to turbo duels okay spearfish that yeah, spearfish soldier let's see can we pull an ulti here? It doesn't look like one. I absolutely love a hero lives. But what do we have here? Ooh, nothing. Interesting. Air Orca, that simp. Yu-Gi-Oh! EXE. Always pulls that card, apparently. Actually gonna be doing a pack battle with him soon, probably later this week, so stay tuned for that. Link Ross, or is it Link Ross? Yeah, Link Ross is the ultra rare and access code talker. Of course, we want to pull that bad boy. I believe that's a variant of decode talker, right? Okay, let's go for some return of the duelist. We've had a, a decent return on return. Ha. See what I did there? But we've already pulled two high priestesses. And... I believe, does Maldoche and Jelly come here? No, no, sorry, that's from Prio. Heroic Challenger Double Lance. Still need to pull that Pudding Sis from Return of the Duelist. Another Edco here. See if we can link into the brains. See, look, I know the new catchphrases. Ah, I know the new catchphrases, guys. Come on, I'm hip. Super Heavy Samurai Wagon. I can't, I can't get used to this light. Sorry guys, I'll be back. Ooh, Princess Great Bubble Reef. Yeah, but we'll, we'll be back to uh, to the normal setup. Actually, even better setup. I'm actually getting a microphone. It's gonna be awesome, so stay tuned for that. Now, Abyss Rising. Can we pull our pudding sis? Also some awesome rares in here and commons. Fishboard Launcher, I believe, as well as, not Planter, uh, there's one more I'm thinking about. Messen Gelato, Emperor of Prophecy, and Forbidden Dress. Oof, it's our first hollow out of our Zexel packs there. Let's go with another Eternity Code. 
Anna Man, uh, is that how do you say it? Anna Mandorn Archisaur. I thought I was gonna get that right, but butchered it. That'd be a pretty cool card to pull. Ooh, the arrival, Cybers at Ignister. It's a pretty cool looking super. Judgment of the Light. I actually didn't realize there's a, a decent common in this set too. It's all these Mecha Phantom Beasts. Mecha Phantom Beast Coltwing. So who, who knows, maybe we can get one. I actually wanna double check, see if I didn't already. Yellow Dustin, tour bus to the Forbidden Realms, and Shark Caesar. That got me going, saw the Xyz. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through my Jotil comments. See if I didn't miss one. Hopefully not. Etco, we don't have that problem here. No rares, as you know. The abolishment of rares. Can we pull something? Hey, plunder, patrol ship, lease. That's got to be the best part I've ever rare. seen. That's not too shabby. Our maiden. So it would seem. Gotta love the plunder patrol archetype. Was not expecting that. Plunder patrol lease. Lice? Lease? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Okay, that's definitely our best pull so far from Eternity Code. Now, Gen Force. Can we feel the flow? Pull some fire here. Doesn't look like an ulti. Painful return. Ah, got a painful return on Generations Force. Actually, loose packs that I got, I did really well with them. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go for a return of the duelist. We'll go one one in a row here, in chronological in crony order here. For Zexel packs, let's see. Where is that heroic champion? Excalibur. Aloshe T break and Goblin Marauding Squad. Oof. Abyss Rising. Along with Tiramisu would love to pull a Bahamut Shark. So, can we do that here? Abyss Gundy, actually think that's a decent rare. And Abyss Slung. Striking out on Zexel so far. It's actually only the one hollow. Forbidden Dress, and not a great one at that. All right, see if we can change it here. Salamander and a Shark Caesar. Again, that trolley Shark Caesar. Would love to pull a Utopia the cover card there. Utopia Ray Victory, actually. All right, Eternity Code. Let's blink into the brains. Pull that Access Code Talker. Somebody made a great point. Has anybody pulled a Starlight Rare? Hey, Dragon Maid Shu. It's a pretty awesome Ultra Rare. Has anybody pulled a Starlight Rare from Blister Packs? Let me know. All right, back to some Zexel. Come on, gotta pick it up soon. Yeah, I just don't know if it's like, are Starlight Rares available in Blisters? Who knows? Ah, and a Wind Up Factory. I do love your Wind Ups. I know they don't come in Unlimited, they don't come in special editions, right? Alrighty, redo, return of the do. Where is that pudding sus? Strength prophecy, dust knight. Oof. Rough. Let's go, let's pick it up, Zexel. Still, nothing better than a super. Only two supers, too. Not opening that many, but blisters are kind of a crapshoot. And an abyss dweller. Ooh, still striking out only supers so far. Not even any really good commons or rares, unless I miss some. Judgment of the Light. I'm judging these blister packs, they've been pretty rough so far, so. Let's go. Pick it up. Trap tricks at tracks. Down to the last couple packs. No, it's the last packs of each. Last couple packs of Eternity Code. 
Let's see. Where's that starlight, baby? Oh, access code talker. Woo! Nice. I will take it. Cover car pull any day. Sorry for the shoddy light, like I said. Awesome. That's your best pull right there. Uh, aside from your starlights, calm down, everybody, calm down. Awesome. Access code talker. Never understood why they didn't make those in, like, why wouldn't they make the cover card a starlight? You'd think, you'd think right? Eh. Anyways, nonetheless, epic. Let's go. Access code talker. I have not yet seen him summoned in the anime, so no spoilers. Haven't gotten that far. Let's go. That just made the opening. All right, two secrets from Eternity Code, which I've been actually ripping on the last couple of openings. It hasn't really done me good. Let's go. We'll end it off with Eternity Code, I guess. We'll keep the crony order, chronological order going. All righty, Eternity Code, let's go. Now, Starlight, right after that. Access Code Talker, then a Starlight. Let's go. Kachiri at Ignister. All righty then. Some last pack magic. Let's go. LPM in the comments. Send me your energy. We're going to pull a hero lives. Then it's going to be Pudding Sis, Tiramisu, and a Judgment Dragon. Sorry, not Judgment Dragon. Star Eater. Out of Judgment of the Light. Ooh. Kind of ruined it. Vision Hero Trinity. Dope. Actually, that used to be dope. I think it used to be a lot more until it got reprinted in, I think, one of the legendary collections. Not too shabby, though. It's a Vision Hero. Alrighty. Return. Can we pull that Spellbook Magician of Prophecy? Let's go. Last pack magic, baby. Chronomaly, Crystal Skull as a rare. This rising, let us rise from the depths and pull another Shark Drake. Spoiler alert, in my, one of my previous Abyss Rising openings, we've already pulled the Ghosts. So, ooh, why am I doing it like this? Ah, Spellbook of Eternity. Oh wait, shit, got a little confused there. Thought it was opening Eternity Code. Red Dragon and Ninja, awesome, super rare. Judgment of the Light. Let's go. Second, whoa, look how that pack just opened. That's really weird, it was like a tab. Okay, interesting. Let's see, this is a sign. Let's go. Sorry, I had to clean off, I wasn't stroking anything weird there. I had to clean something off my awesome Shining Darkness sneak peek mat. Archfiend Emperor, the first Lord of Horror, and a Sargasso, the DD Battlefield. Hey, Intercept Mado, win. Yeah, this map doesn't get enough love. Felt like I had to bring it out for the opening. And look at that, brought me some luck with Access Code Talker. Awesome, dope card. Now, imagine we end it off with some last pack magic, Starlight Rare. Oh, that felt weird when I took, and it sounded weird when I took the pack out. Under like nails on a chalkboard. Let's go. I'm calling it. It's going to be Trap Tricks. It's not going to be the Veiler. One, two, three. Oh, we'll go from the back. Card trick. Sorry to do it to you guys. <sighs> Last card. Is it a Starlight? Ah, Malice Lady of Lament. Womp. That is actually the first card I ever pulled, and it was a double, sorry, from this set. But overall, not too shabby of an opening. We pulled it, guys. The Access Code Talker cover card. Pretty dope. It's definitely the highlight of our recap, along with, of course, our two ultra rares, Heavy Forward and Dragon Maid Shiu. Got two of these babies now, which are all for sale. And Plunder Patrol Ship Lease. Awesome, definitely a dope opening. Along with our super rares, can't forget our supers. Quick recap of those. Nothing crazy out of there, I don't think. And Mermail Abyss Gundy. We did it, guys. We pulled Access Code Talker, cover card for Eternity Code. 
Hope you all enjoyed because I sure did. This trip to Walmart was definitely successful. And until next time, peace. <laughs>